Last time we talked about simple interest, but how do we deal with compound interest? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Like I said sa intro kanina, pag-uusapan natin ng compound interest. And if you haven't seen yung video ko on simple interest yet, you can click right here to catch up. Panoorin nyo muna yun kasi this is a more, ano ba, challenging take on this problem. Kasi iba na yung level ng formula na pag-uusapan natin ngayon. So, mas maganda kung napanood nyo muna yon. So, pause nyo muna to. Balikan nyo na lang ako kapag napanood nyo na yung unang video. Alright? Now, just a quick little plug. If you want to uh, request any topics na gusto nyo i-cover ko in newer videos or gusto ninyo na maka-interact ako, find out how to get the reviewers, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information sa mga papalating na mga events at sa mga marami pang free resources that I make for you guys. Okay? Now that I have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can explain this concept better to you guys. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung discussion natin on compound interest. Again, we've already talked talked about simple interest, kompleto na yan with yung discussion, yung quiz, pati na rin yung shortcuts which I talked about in a live stream event that we did a few years back. Uh, all the links to those will be dito sa i button na to. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click on that to watch the other videos of playlist, okay? Now, yung compound interest is a little more tricky. Mas komplikado yung formula. Meron tayong fractions, exponents, and that is the reason why it'll be very hard for you to um, follow along if you don't have a calculator handy. Calculator, actually, preferably scientific calculator pa nga. Now, for those of you who are only watching for the civil service exam, if ever magkakaroon ng compound interest questions sa civil service, mas simple yung values. Ibig sabihin, whole numbers siya. Uh, mas madali sa options yung tamang sagot pero mas maganda if you're prepared sa kahit anong ibabato sa atin and that is why I'm making this video now for those of you who are in high school or college na you deal with this then this is the great video for you to solve along okay so again if you have a calculator with you mas maganda if hindi uh, that's okay I'm going to explain yung concept first and, and uh, dun sa susunod nating video it will be your quiz okay now, let's start with the basics muna, yung formula. Ang formula is A is equal to P. Tapos, imumultiply siya sa quantity na 1 plus, ito na yung medyo komplikado, R over N. Tapos, yung entire thing, yung 1 plus R over N, meron pa siyang exponent. Ang exponent niya is NT, or basically, N times T. So, babalik tayo. You have to have your fundamentals when it comes to um, solving pagdating sa exponents. Dapat okay ka when it comes to PEMDAS or order of operations. Lahat, o, lahat ng mga ito will come into play dito. Lalo na mamaya pagpapasok na yung component ng algebra. Okay? Now, ano ba ibig sabihin ng mga letters na ito? Yung A is the total accrued amount. Same thing din sa simple interest. Pareho lang. A din ang tawag doon. Ito yung magiging resulta uh, kapag pinasok mo yung, yung pera sa isang account uh, after some time. Okay? So, total yan. Kasama yung iyong P. Ang P natin is the principal amount. Basically, kung ano yung pinuhunan mo. So, P for puhunan. Madali naman tandaan. So, 1 plus R. Ano ba yung R? Ang R, same as yung formula natin last time. This is the rate of interest. Again, madaling tandaan. R stands for rate. So, ito yung percentage. Okay? Now, yung N, this is a new letter. Wala ito sa simple interest. Bakit? Kasi yung N is actually the number of times that the interest is compounded in a year. Now, medyo complex. Basahin, mahaba yung explanation. Pero ang ibig sabihin lang yan, eh, yan yung number of times na ia-apply mo yung interest doon sa perang nandoon. Ang simple interest kasi... Ang idea niyan would be, kung 10,000 ang pera mo at 10% ang interest, every year, nagdadagdag lang ng 1,000 every year. Fixed amount. Ang compound interest, sa tuwing magkakaroon ng pag-apply ng interest mo, so every time the interest is compounded, ang kukunin niya na principal amount is yung kabuuan ng pera mo. So for example, kung nag-invest ako ng 10,000 sa 10% interest rate, sa unang taon, ako ay magkakaroon ng 11,000. 
Sa susunod na taon, kukunin natin yung 10%, hindi ng 10,000 which is yung initial investment mo, kundi yung 10% ng kabuuan ng pera mo sa, sa taon na yon. So, ibig sabihin, 10% of 11,000 na yung kukunin mo, hindi na 10% of 10,000. Yun yung pagkakaiba niya. Kaya, importante ito. Now, kung ang uh, iyong interest is applied annually or once a year, ang end mo will be 1. Kung quarterly, apat kasi pag quarter ibig sabihin apat na beses din sa isang taon kapag uh, semi annually that will be two kapag every six months two okay all of these things you have to think about now yung t naman is yung time period so kunyari sa isang taon may uh, na, may uh, four times kang nag-apply ng interest so quarterly pero isang taon mo lang iniwan yung account mo your t will be one kung four years magiging four Ganon yung bilang nung T. Okay? So, ito yung formula. Again, with this type of problem, you have no choice but to memorize this. And uh, that is the reason why it's very important to practice. Now, let's start out with something simple. Ito yung question. Sabi, an initial deposit of 100,000 pesos is made into a savings account that compounds 5% interest annually. The question is, how much is in the account at the end of 5% years. Now again, ito yung formula natin, ilalagay lang natin lahat ng nawawala. Ako personally, I prefer na i-memorize lang yung base formula. Ibig sabihin, ito lang ang minememorize ko. Hindi ko na minememorize yung formula for P, yung, mem yung formula for N, R, or T, kasi pwede mo naman siya isolve na lang as it is. Yung iba kasi, i-derive na yung formula, i-memorize nila uli yun. And uh, that is the reason why, if you remember in high school, di ba may mga teachers na sasabihin, oh, lagay nyo sa index card lahat ng formula. Pupunong-puno yung index card nila, ang liliit ng sulat nila. Ako, I try my best. Kung hindi naman kailangan, ito na lang yung nilalagay kong formula. And then, all of the others, pwede ko naman kunin through that. I'll exemplify that later. Okay? Now, now that we have this, lahat ng mga information na ito, ipa-plug in lang natin kung nasaan sila dyan. Na ang sabi dun sa first line, initial deposit. Pag initial deposit, yung 100,000, ibig sabihin yun yung principal amount. So, ibig sabihin, yun yung P, we have 100,000. Okay. Tapos, meron ka nung 1 plus, and then yung RN natin, yung R would be the rate. Ang rate natin is 5%. So, yan yun, 5%. Tapos, over yung N, ang N is the number of times it's accrued in a year or it's uh, applied in a year. So, ibig sabihin yung N natin would be ito, annually. Ang annually, ibig sabihin once a year, ibig sabihin, one lang ang ilalagay natin dito. Okay? Now, after that, you have your N, T. Again, N pareho lang, one lang din. Pero, i-multiply ko siya sa T. Ano ba yung T? Yun yung time. Ang time natin here is five years. So, that means ito ay... 5. And now, we have yung ating formula. Okay? Equation na siya. Isosolve natin siya. Okay? So, isolve na lang natin siya. Diretsoin ko na. You have A is equal to 100,000. Tapos, mag-focus tayo dito sa right side. Ito yung medyo mas complex. Okay? So, you have 1 plus 5% divided by 1. Again, identity, property ng multiplication. If you haven't seen that... Video yet, ililiko na lang din dito. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun, any number, i-divide mo din sa, sa 1. Ibig sabihin, it'll just be the same number. So, yung 5% will stay as 5%. Kung gusto ko siya i-decimal, yan ay 0.05. Okay? So, 0.05 na siya. Tapos, i-close ko lang ito. Yung 1 times 5 is 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung exponent niya is 5. Now, ito yung part na you have to remember all the time. Sa PEMDAS, if you remember this, ang ibig sabihin ng PEMDAS or GEMDAS, yung iba kasi, ang ginagamit nila is G. Ang ibig sabihin nun, grouping or parenthesis, exponent bago multiplication and division. So, ibig sabihin nun, dito sa setup na ito, kailangan ko munang isort out yung exponent side bago ko siya i-multiply sa 100,000. Yung iba kasi, ang ginagawa, minumultiply ito, dito, tsaka nila, nilalagay yung exponent. Pero hindi dapat ganun. Dapat, etong side muna na ito, Bago ko siya i-multiply dito, okay? So, isosolve lang natin siya. You have A is equal to 100,000 as it is pa rin. Tapos, you have 1.05 raised to the fifth power.
power. Now, ano ibig sabihin ng raise to the fifth power? Ibig sabihin nun, imumultiply ko yung 1.05 sa sarili niya five times. So, kung isusulat ko yun, parang ganito yun, 1.05 times 1.05 tapos times 1.05 times 1.05 times 1.05. Kung kayo ay may simpleng calculator, you will be forced to just type this. Pero kung meron kang scientific calculator, pwede mo na lang i- uh, ilagay yung exponent as 5. Tapos, mag enter ka na lang. Okay? So, ang magiging kanilabasan niyan, A is equal to 100,000. Tapos, multiply ko siya dito. Ang kalalabasan nito is 1.28. Okay? So, actually, there are uh, more uh, decimals dyan. Ginawa ko lang na 2, de two ano, ha? decimal places. Pero ano yan eh, parang 2, 7, uh, 6, 2, 8, something like that. Okay? So again, nilagay ko lang dyan for now, para lang hindi natin kailangan isulat yung entire thing. Tapos ngayon, again, if you're holding your scientific calculator or your actual calculator, imumu pwede mo na ngayon siya i-multiply doon sa 100,000. Na kapag multiply ka ng, uh, ng 100,000, actually, kung ilan yung zero, imumove mo lang yung decimal place sa ilang beses yun. So, it's actually simple kahit na hindi nyo napindutin sa calculator yan. Ang lalabas dyan is A is equal to 127,628.15. Okay? Now, again, sa nanggaling to, kasi approximation lang yung, ni-round off ko lang yung 1.28 para lang mas maikli yung sulat natin kanina. Pero kung, uh, kung kayo ay nag-solve ng worksheet na binigay ng inyong teacher, okay, sasabihin nila man nila yung rule. Usually, kapag pera ang pinag-uusapan, which in this case ay ganun nga, Ang um, sinasabi lang ng mga teachers, two decimal places. Kasi di ba, pag nagbabayad naman tayo uh, ng centavos sa cashier, two decimal places lang yung sinusunod. So, nire round up na lang. Okay? Now, now that we have that, ito yung pinakasimple, we have a more challenging question up next. Paano kung ganito? Sabi dito, after five years of 4% interest compounded quarterly, an account has 61,009 pesos point five zero two. So very specific siya. What was the original deposit amount? So this time ang hinahanap is original deposit amount which is yung puhunan. Okay? So yan ang nawawala. Now again, pwede niyo i-derive yung formula. Okay? Basically, i-over ko to sa P, tapos ililipat ko doon yung A. Magka-cancel ako or you can leave it as that is solve na lang natin mamaya. Okay? So gagawin lang natin x yung p. So ibig sabihin noon, sisimulan natin siya dun sa a. Ano ba yung a? Yun yung total na pera after ng lahat ng nangyari. Ito yon, yung 61,009.502. So ibig sabihin yun ang magiging a natin. So you have 61009.502. Okay? Equals Tapos dahil yung P ang nawawala, siya ang magiging X. Tapos you have 1 plus, ang R natin, rate of interest is 4%. So, 4% ito. Tapos over siya sa N. Ang N, sabi dito, quarterly daw. So, kung quarterly, ibig sabihin happens 4 times in a year. So, ibig sabihin, ito magiging 4 yung number na yan. Tapos, i-close natin ito. You have your N, which is still 4. Times T, which is yung time na nag yung pera sa account. Sabi to they had 5 years. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 4 times 5. Okay? Now, isosolve na lang natin siya. Isa-isa natin. You have 61009.502 is equal to X. Tapos, here, you have 1 plus and then 4% divided by 4. Now, 4% divided by 4 is basically 1% or 0.01. One. Tapos you have 4 times 5 which is 20. Yun yung magiging exponent niya. So here you have, again, rewrite lang natin, 61,009.502 is equal to x times 1 plus 0 0.01, that is 1.01. .01. Tapos naka-ratio sa 20. So again, very handy kung may calculator ka just to make things a little bit faster. Now, you have 61,009.502. Ingat sa pag -re -re write lalo na kung kayo ay nagko-quiz or nag -e exam X, tapos times. And then, ito, if you plug this in sa calculator, ang lalabas dyan is 1.22. 
So now you have this. Now, dahil ang gusto nating mahanap is yung x, ang gagawin natin next is to basically divide the entire thing by 1.22. That way, makakancel ito at maiiwan yung ating x. So the next thing we're going to do is to divide 61,009.502 divided by 1.22. And ang lalabas dyan is 50,000. Okay? So the answer is 50 thousand ang iyong pinuhunan. Okay? So, ganun lang yon. Again, babalik ka doon sa rules. Anong unang isosolve? How to find your X? All of these things that you have to be solid about when it comes to your fundamentals. Again, if you haven't seen yung mga videos natin on these topics, you can go back doon sa ating playlists to check kung ano yung mga kailangan yung ng refresher before our quiz next week. Kasi sa susunod na linggo, you're going to have your quick quiz on this topic. Two questions plus one challenge question. And after your quiz, I will explain kung paano makuha yung tama sagot. Okay? Alright, now if you want more practice, you can check out yung aking Instagram account at Laika Maravilla, yung aking uh, Instagram stories. I post quick questions doon or quick quizzes para makapag-check kayo ng inyong skills sa topic na ito at sa marami pang ibang na-discuss ko na before. I would love to see you there. Again, at Laika Maravilla on Instagram, I'll see you there. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and ano mag-exam din sila. That way, yung marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers I may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlike for more information. Subscribe na. If you haven't yet, hit that bell dahil marami pa tayong mga paparating na lessons. Sana hindi nyo sila mamiss para mas ma-equip kayo sa inyong mga susunod na mga exams. Thanks, guys. And uh, as we always see sa team na to, never stop learning. Adja-adja. Kainian. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.